Hello YouTube, Arrow Assassin here today and welcome back to another video. And before we get into it, um it's the Mage Tower Challenge versus Excel Excelium or whatever, Frost Mage, and I wanted to give you guys some tips if you guys are gonna try this for yourself, like it's probably why you click the video, you wanna know some tips in order to face him. So first automatically tips this should be given is always get food buff, rune and your strength flask obviously so you don't really need to know that so throughout the fight there was several different strategies i tried and in the end this is the one that i preferred this is the current build i used because i didn't show it in the video but yeah this is what i used i know a lot of people use brent the Cinderella, and it's probably better i just like obliteration it just worked for me personally that's just it all right for the tips the most important tip that I learned in this fight is you gotta survive. It's not even about, well, DPS for the last phase, but first phase, it's all about survival. If you don't, if you don't want, need to do damage, don't do damage, just try to survive. But all the, your major key here is to spam death strikes. I like barely use frost strike at all. Like I maybe used it maybe a few times throughout the fight, but it was just, it was barely usable. Always use death strikes to heal. Now, the key uh, to Deathstrike healing is he's going to surround you in these pillars of ice, and if you touch one, you instant die, if you, haven't, uh, if you don't know that. And when you kill them, you get the Dark, Dark Sister Pock, here it is, and what that does is increase the healing of your next Deathstrike, so you can pretty much kill those and get your Deathstrike heals back up. What I did is I killed and made a path in front of those ice, left some up, and then I death gripped the boss uh, near the crystals you'll probably see in the video, and then I AoE'd them, and I also got dark sex, dark sexer spots, or dark sexer procs, I can't even say it, I'm sorry guys, but yeah, I got those procs, and it increased my healing by a lot, you'll see that throughout the video, and that's pretty much basically the entire fu oh, actually no there's one more thing um there's one more important thing if you have this trinket i recommend using it and you'll see one uh, again through the fight there's two important tips the one i told you guys about the death strike procs if you aoe those crystals it'll give you procs and then kill jaden's burning wish what i use this for is i used it for when he splits into all those mirror images and you have to, when you clear an ad, he's going to pop a bubble. You stand in it, you get healed, don't take damage, etc. So I used, I killed the quick one real quick with my uh, abilities real quick. Then I targeted, I looked at the map really fast just to see where the real mage was. And then I used my trinket and a howling blast and I quickly ran over with a obliterate and killed the second ad. And then... I quickly went to the mage so that was my strategy pretty much for the fight it seemed to work pretty well I hope this does help you guys in some ways and let me know if you have any more questions see you guys for the next video I'm crawling under
feel the pressure of the thing that I have in mind I wanted peace, I wanted to be fine I wonder why I cannot just sit for a while I really wanna see what it looks like To have a moment I know that I would be mine When the winds are all closed Like a picture of the time When the future is the home You're looking for Save me from everything Tell me where to find my way I'm just looking for something I can make in another day Cause I'm all done Fading away Cause I'm all done This is what I know I just keep from running I was working fast and hard Never thinking about now Believing I'm happy thanks to all the things that I have to try I wanted peace, I wanted to be fine I wonder why I cannot just 